Hey everybody, I want to make a video on how I got my Dell PowerEdge server to draw just 22 to 24 watts hosting a Minecraft server. Um, and I'm really happy about this actually. It took a while to get this figured out and I can't find other YouTube videos on how to do this basically. So this is kind of a wraparound of everything I discovered of how I achieved this basically. So one of the biggest things is, is hard drives. So you have these nice hard drives and stuff you have in here. This one had 300 gig drives in it basically but each one was drawing five watts so having one two three four 300 gigabyte hard drives that are not super energy efficient drawing five watts each that was 20 watts right there so like this thing originally was idling at like 72 watts and in some cases some cases it can get down to like 56 or so with like literally no, nothing running but that was kind of ridiculous regardless and the server was kind of loud you know, because I, what, I, what I discovered is the more drives you populated here and the more power it was using, the main exhaust fan on here um, would be audible anywhere in the house. Even though it's, like, not running quickly, it just kind of has a weird tone to it. So it was very audible and annoying. And on top of that, it was using electricity. So I switched to an SSD. This thing now runs on just a single SSD. I actually have it plugged into the SATA data and power cables that were originally feeding this DVD drive in here. So I can show you that in a little bit here. Basically, that's just a little bit of an intro of what I did there. And I also discovered this RAID card draws an additional 10 to 12 watts from the wall. Basically, once you accommodate for power supply losses and stuff, basically, the sucker would definitely add another 10 to 12 watts. So by eliminating the hard, using hard drives and switching to an SSD instead, and also deciding not to use these bays, but use the SATA cable that feeds the DVD drive instead. Eliminating the RAID card because of it, I immediately saved 30 watts of power consumption. So that was huge. Um, another thing I did is I found out Windows Server 2022 is like way better at managing power usage than Windows Server 2012. It is night and day. Literally, I didn't make any changes in the system. I switched from 2012 to 22, and it just was obviously quieter. It was pretty amazing, and I saw the server was running at below 1 gigahertz and stuff, so it didn't need that extra speed, and it was properly um, making the CPU use a lower power level, basically, probably one of the lowest ones it can go to. So that's really nice. Also, another big thing that I changed that helped a lot is a setting in the BIOS called Performance Per Watt, basically. So there's a Performance Profile Mode and a Performance Per Watt Profile Mode in the BIOS. And if you find that on your server and change that, magically it uses even less power, and I saw no performance hit. So what's actually funny is I did a lot of testing with a nice CPU um, and browser stress test, basically, of benchmark. And I found that with the Performance Per Watt setting on, I got a slightly higher score, maybe a few percent higher, with the performance per watt mode on, which uses low power overall, basically, um, compared to the performance mode, and the server is just quieter altogether. So that's another huge setting that you need to change as well on your server, and that helps out considerably, basically. Um, another thing I want to say is, so, if you do need to populate these bays, because you need a ton of storage, basically, and just having one or two SSDs, run off the internal SATA cables, if that's not enough and you need to actually use these, then by all means do it. But see if you can use SSDs or just lower power consumption drives, basically. So like this little hard drive here is a Western Digital Black, uh, about 300 gigabyte laptop drive. I recovered it from a laptop actually that was dying and that sucker uses maybe two and a half watts. So what's interesting is there's a amperage rating boom right here five volt dc about 0.6 amp basically it's rated for that thing just barely gets warm when it's running so it really doesn't draw that much power these drives do indeed draw a solid amp each so yeah they're not really energy efficient compared to that western digital one but if you can also go ssd then that's even more energy efficient so just keep in mind though if you do populate these bays then you will have to use the RAID card, basically, because this is what actually drives the blades in the back. So the blades, the bl main blade in the server rubber plugs into here, basically. You can see that. And then that allows this to operate. So right now, my uh, server's in an error state on there. 
because it's upset about the raid card being removed, it knows these are not operable basically and it's pissed about it, but oh well. It's just gonna stay like that basically. But yeah, I was able to shut a huge amount of power load. But yeah, I can go ahead and sh show you inside the server basically how that looks. Okay, so inside the server, I'm gonna show you how I have this set up. I actually have my SSD plugged in right here. This is a cheapo one. Get the SATA power and data cable going in that were plugged into the DVD drive right here. So the DVD drive is also unpowered because I don't use it. Literally, if you need to make a bootable disc or something, you can use that with USB. You just need to plug it into the USB, um, what's it called, port hidden right there. Boom, that one. That one you can boot off internally, it's awesome. You just need to make sure it's enabled in the BIOS, basically. And then, obviously, here's the leftover connections and stuff from the RAID card being unplugged. That powers the blade right here, which is this board. So, now that's for the uh, drives in front here. That's about it. So, hopefully this video you found helpful, basically. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider consider uh, subscribing to the channel, it helps me out. If you have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me uh, know in the comment section. Thanks.